Um, my process starts off by normally taking walks. And uh, while I'm walking through the land, I notice certain things, uh, either A, how I'm feeling uh, about a specific view, like, ah, that's very beautiful, or I notice that uh, I'm intrigued by some things that are at a micro level and then a macro level. So I start to notice these things, but then also I'm keenly aware of uh, why I'm noticing those things or why something is beautiful or how I'm missing things or the fact that as I'm walking through the land, I'm destroying the land. And so there's this constant state of awareness and that kind of ruins it for me as well as makes it uh, a heightened situation. Uh, the piece that I've made for this exhibition uh, is probably not the largest piece I've made, um, but it's certainly the most involved. I've been for about six months, a lot of sleepless nights, uh, uh, agonizing over you know, what is the material that's going to be cascading out of the, the painting? Um, you know, how is this all going to come together? So logistically, moving it from Minneapolis to New York, that was a, a, an interesting process. Um, and the fact that it started off as a painting, I needed a frame for the painting, then to have it spill out onto the floor, all of those different materials that were involved, it's certainly the most involving piece that I've done to date. The, the materials that you see here are all taken from my, my property. So as I go on these walks, I uh, collect moss, I collect uh, flowers, I collect uh, different dried weeds. You know, uh, A lot of the materials that I, I use are noxious weeds, and so weeds that aren't native to the area. Um, buckthorn is another uh, tree that's not native to the area, but it's taking over. So I use these in the work. I wasn't content with just taking these walks into nature and then painting it on a flat surface. And so I wanted to make the, the actual object that people saw in the museum or the gallery have a relationship with the body, just like my walks through nature have a relationship with the body. So making them in relief then allowed the viewer to kind of move around them and have this more uh, uh, personal relationship with them where the view changes as they move. Um, and so moving from painting to sculpture seemed like a natural thing for me to do. Um, and I still view the entire work as a, as a painting because I, I feel as though I'm taking paper and just bringing the scene out uh, even though you're walking around it, it's still very much lodged in the tradition of painting and landscape painting as a, as a tradition. In, in the work, I wanted to address uh, the view that the, posi like the position that the piece was going to be in in the museum, and it overlooks Central Park. And so it seemed a, a perfect opportunity to uh, have the work in this location in the gallery and then have it overlook Central Park so that as you look at the work, my work will fuse together with the treetops of Central Park. And so uh, the, the, the two pieces become one. And we lose the city and it just it becomes part of the, the landscape.